Hello, Warren Buffet's book Sharah Twe just released a 13F, and one of the things that we like doing at Cold Brew Money is looking through Super Investor's portfolio and giving updates. So let's go through what he bought, what he sold. Let's get started. As you can see, we are using Data Roma to see book Sharah Twe's Q1 2022 buys and sells, and as you can see, they have a total portfolio of 363 billion, which is like a lot. Book Sharah Twe was on a buying and selling spree this quarter. Fun coupons. Uh, let's start with the sales, right? Uh, as you can see, Warren Buffet's Berkshire Hathaway they sold off majority of their positions in Verizon, AbbVie, Bristol Myers Squibb, and Wells Fargo. But let's go to the more interesting part, which are the buys. So you can see uh, Chevron was the biggest buy this quarter. Let's also talk about the second biggest buy, which is Occidental, and both of them tell us a theme. But let's start with Chevron first. Chevron is the second largest oil corporation after just after Exxon Mobil, and uh, as Atit said, like in theme with uh, Warren Buffet betting on oil being used for a longer period of time, this bet makes sense. Uh, when the market is down, it's surprising to see that Chevron is up 46 percent year to date. The good part about Chevron, and based on our research, is they have a lot of free cash flow and. they are giving that cash flow back to the shareholders in the form of dividend yield berkshire hathaway energy is investing heavily in re- renewables but at the same time he has been buying chevron and occidental which have been majorly focused on traditional hy- hydrocarbons like fuel and uh, oil uh, so i think it's a way for him to hedge uh, because the world might need both they might need the uh, uh, renewables as well as the hydrocarbons looking at occidental it looks more of a international play because occidental is active in chile middle east and canada and as you can see year to date it is up 107% again with the market pullback this number is surprising because the entire market is not doing so well but uh, it's it's not that surprising right because like uh, the tech is bursting but like the traditional stocks the energy is going up in fact like uh, the the gas prices are at all time high again um and if any companies were to benefit from these it'll be probably uh, some some of these uh, traditional oil and gas companies going back to the other buys of bookshare hathaway they also added activision blizzard which we'll cover in a lot more detail soon but uh, the other companies that they bought is hp which is like the traditional computer hardware company city group in the financial services space paramount global the movie company which holds a lot of ip and they also added some of the apple uh, shares um, Warren Buffett has talked a lot about Apple. He loves Tim Cook and what the company stands for, and he l- l- enjoys the dividend that they give out to their shareholders. So that so it's not surprising that he added Apple to the portfolio. Let's talk about Activision for a second, right? Um, he he mentions this uh, in the annual meeting. Uh, one of the things we bought, one of the things I bought for a different purpose by a different manager months earlier, uh, roughly fifteen million shares. The back division, but then on January, I don't know, seventeenth or eighteenth, something like that, Microsoft announced they were going to buy Activision for ninety-five dollars a share. Now, when they announce that, at that point, Activision becomes a different kind of security. It becomes what Charlie and I used to call. We call them workouts or something like that, and they become known as arbitrage. Well, they're not really arbitrage. They're securities. They're in those cases of common stock, whose Value depends not on what the market price does, but whether a given corporate event occurs, an announced corporate event occurs. Microsoft wants to buy Activision. We'll say, well, they they said at ninety five dollars a share, and they've got the money. This is purely a arbitrage play. It has nothing to do with what the company does or the business model or the cash flow of Activision. It is purely because the the deal uh, to get Activision acquired was around ninety five dollars, and right now it is when he started buying it was trading at about seventy ish dollars. So, uh, if it goes through, the deal goes through. Um, you know, he'll make a nice little uh, you know quick money. So as you can see, Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway made a lot of activity in the previous quarter. Those were some of the shares that stood out for us. Please let us know in the comment section below what were your favorite picks. But that's it for today's episode. Okay, bye. Okay, thank you.